Chapter 7 PowerPoint Graphics MS PowerPoint 2010 has simplified inserting pictures, clip art, tables, smart art graphics, media sound, and movie clips and charts. You learned about this in lesson 7, but it will be good to review what you learned and you will also learn here how to insert a clickable email address. Microsoft PowerPoint 2010 helps to create effective presentations. Its features are very colorful and easy to use. In this chapter, we will discuss the interesting features in Insert tab. You added an effect to enhance the slide transition. You selected a colored scheme and may have even created a new background effect. Insert tab. What is Insert tab? Don't you know? We will discuss next insert tab contains different groups like tables, illustrations, links, text and media, illustrations and images. We have discussed some of these inserting features in MS Word 2010. Here are some steps to get you started in the image group. Picture. It's used to insert pictures from file. It helps you to insert any pictures you have already stored in your computer. Clip art. It is used to insert the clip art pictures. Clip art pictures are the collection of drawings available in MS Office 2010. Screenshot. You can use it to take a picture of all or part of the windows opened on your computer. Photo album. It is used to create or edit presentation based on a set of pictures. Picture. To insert a picture from your computer, follow these steps. Click on picture on images group. Select the image from Insert Picture window and click on Insert button. Now, the selected picture is inserted into the slide. To select multiple pictures in PowerPoint, press and hold Shift or Control button while selecting. Clip Art PowerPoint 2010 has simplified inserting pictures, clip art, tables, smart art graphics, media sound and movie clips and charts. You learned about this in Lesson 7, Inserting Clip Art. Make sure you are in Normal View, not Slide Sorter View. Then scroll to Slide 2, Introduction. Click on the Home ribbon, Slides Group, Layout in the Slide Layout menu. Clip Art is a collection of pictures available with MS PowerPoint. To insert Clip Art, do the following steps. Click on Clip Art in Images Group on Insert tab. In the clip art task pane, type a word or phrase that describes the clip art that you want in the search for text box or type all or some of the file name of the clip art. Click go and select the clip art that you want to insert. Screenshot This feature was actually introduced in the Office 2010 suit. Let's say, I want to capture a full screen image of the PowerPoint. Must look for other ways to use that feature. A screenshot is a picture taken from computer screen. This may include the desktop background, icons of files and folders and open windows. It may also include whatever is being displayed by currently running programs. To insert screenshot, do the following steps. Click on the screenshot in images group from insert tab. To add the screenshot, click the thumbnail in the available gallery. To crop a part of the window, Click on screen clipping and when the pointer becomes a cross, press and hold the left mouse button to select the area of your screen that you want to capture. Now, the cropped screenshot appears on the slide. Photo Album If you would like to create a slideshow just of pictures or have a section of your presentation just be pictures, you can use the Photo Album tool. A PowerPoint Photo Album is a presentation that you can create to display photographs. After inserting the pictures in your album, you can add captions, adjust the order and layout, add frames around the pictures and even apply a theme to further customize the look of your album. To create a photo album, follow these steps. Click on photo album on the images group. Click on file or disk button in the photo album dialog box. Select the pictures and click on insert button. Then, lists of selected pictures are displayed on pictures in album box of photo album window. Here, you can change the order, brightness, contrast, etc. of the pictures using the different buttons below the preview option. Click on the create button on photo album dialog box. 
You can edit the album by selecting the option Edit Photo Album on the drop down list of Photo Album button. You can edit album by adding captions, adjust the order, and layout or add frames around the pictures. You can also apply a theme to customize the look of your album. To change the layout of your album, select relevant options from the album layout area in the edit photo album dialog box and click update button to apply the changes. Illustrations group you can view presentations in different ways. Microsoft PowerPoint 2010 is a full-featured presentation program that helps you quickly and efficiently develop format. On the Insert tab, Illustrations group, click the Chart button. You can see the following items in the Illustrations group. Shapes. It helps you to insert different shapes and pictures. Smart Art. It is a collection of predefined layouts used to modify your presentation. Chart. A chart is a tool used to communicate data graphically. Charts in PowerPoint allow your audience to see the meaning behind the numbers and helps to understand them easily. Smart Art Graphic. Smart Art allows you to communicate information with graphics instead of just using text. There are a variety of styles to choose from Smart Art Graphic. It's a visual representation of your information that you can quickly and easily create choosing from among many different layouts to effectively communicate your message or ideas. You can create smart art graphics in Excel, Outlook, PowerPoint and Word. A smart art graphic is a visual representation of information and ideas. You can create smart art graphic by choosing from different layouts. It is used to communicate your messages quickly, easily and effectively. To insert smart art graphics, click on smart art in the illustrations group. The left side of the window displays different layout options like all list, process, cycle, hierarchy, relationship, matrix and pyramid. By default, it lists all options. Select a layout and click on OK button. Now. The selected design is inserted into your slide and design tab options are automatically displayed on the ribbon. You can change the designing of smart art graphics using different groups on design tab. The given example shows the options used from design tab to change the designing. Selected vertical curved list layout from layouts group. Changed color from changed colors drop down list of smart art styles group. Select a 3D visual style from Smart Art Styles group. Insert Chart Insert Chart helps to illustrate and compare data in your presentation. Bar, pie, line, area and surface are some of the available chart types. When you select Chart in the Illustrations group on the Insert tab, select a chart type and click on OK button. Then Chart Tools option displays three tabs named Design, Layout, and format correspondingly along with a related worksheet of MS Excel. MS Excel 2010 supports numerous types of charts to help you display data in many ways. When you want to edit an existing chart, click on Change Chart Type on Type Group from Design tab. Then, you can select Appropriate Chart Styles from the dialog box and click on OK button. Insert Text Box Text box is used to place text anywhere on a slide. To insert text box into the document, click on text box in the text group on the insert tab. Then drag it in the working area. Now you will get a text box. Now you can type text in the text box. Header and footer. Header and footer helps you to display common contents of a presentation into all slides. You can insert information such as slide numbers, date and time, company logo, presentation title or file name into single slide and it will be displayed in all slides. To insert header or footer, click header and footer on the insert tab. It displays header and footer dialog box figure 7.9. 
on the slide tab select date and time and slide numbers to insert date and slide numbers respectively to insert footer click on footer and type a name then click on apply to all button to display footer information on all slides in your presentation it will display the slide number and date on bottom of the page insert word art there are many features and commands you can use in powerpoint to create visually appealing slides you know how to change font color font size and font type moreover powerpoint has some pre designed styles called word art Word art is a gallery of text styles to make your presentation more attractive. You can apply these styles to your text. Insert it into your presentation. To insert a word art style from insert tab, follow these steps. Click on the word art button on the text group. Select a word art style from the drop-down list. Insert tables. Tables group on insert tab helps you to insert tables in your presentation. After you add the table into your presentation, you can use the new table tools tab features to quickly add an effect or you can change the table style. To insert table, follow these steps. Click on tables in the insert tab, a drop-down list will appear. Select the number of rows and columns by dragging the mouse over the grids. Then, the table will be inserted into your presentation. You can also use insert table or draw table options from the drop down list of table button from tables group to insert tables in your presentation. Excel spreadsheet can also be inserted using the option Excel spreadsheet in the table drop down list. Hyperlink In PowerPoint, hyperlink is a connection from one slide to another slide in the same presentation or to a slide in another presentation, an email address, a web page or a file. You can create a hyperlink in text or in the form of an object such as picture, graph, shape or word art. Let's learn the working of hyperlinks with an example. First slide of this presentation lists out the Indian teams and also website address. Text box, word art and smart art are used to design the first slide. The second, third and fourth slides are designed with the list of each players of Indian cricket team, football, hockey respectively create a shape on those three slides to give a link to slide 1 give a name on this shape as home and place it on right bottom of the slide let's see how the links are created to create a hyperlink on cricket follow these steps select the text cricket in slide 1 click on hyperlink from links group on insert tab click on place in this document option select second slide slide 2 Click on OK button. Similarly, create a link on football to the third slide and hockey to the fourth slide. To create a link to a web page in a slide, follow these steps. Type www.bccitv under cricket and select the text. Click on hyperlink from links group. Type address as http www.bccitv on existing file or web page option. Click on OK button. Finally, make a link for home shape created in the last three slides to the first slide Indian players. To run PowerPoint presentation, press F5 key. Inserting movies. MS PowerPoint 2010 supports to insert video clips into your presentation. You can insert video clips from your own files and from the clip part. To insert a video clip into presentation, click on the video drop down arrow from media group. Then select video from file from the drop down list. An insert video window will be displayed. Select the file and click on the insert button. The movie will be inserted into your slide. Press F5 to play slideshow. To insert video clips from clip part, follow the steps given below. Click on Media drop down arrow. Click on Clip Art Video option. Select a clip from the Clip Art window. Then, Clip Art Movie clip will be inserted into the slide. Press F5 to run the presentation. Here, you can watch the video clip on your presentation. Inserting Sound PowerPoint supports to insert background sounds and music into your presentation. It will help to get multimedia effect to your presentation. It may be speech, explanations, music, etc. To insert sound from file, click on audio from media group. Then select audio from file from the drop-down list. 
an insert audio window will be displayed. Select a file and click on insert button. You can preview a sound and also make the sound icon invisible during a slideshow by hiding it or moving it off the slide into the grey area. You can set the sound to start automatically when the slide is displayed or to start on a mouse click or to start automatically but with a time delay or to play across the slides. You can add sounds from files on your computer or from Clipart Audio. You can also record your own sounds to add to your presentation. To insert sound files from the Clipart, select Clipart Audio from the audio drop down list and select the sound file you want to insert into your slide from the Clipart panel. It also supports to record your sounds and add into your presentation. To insert your own sounds, click Record Audio option from audio drop down list. Then a record sound window appears. Here you can record your sounds and insert the sounds into your presentation by clicking on OK button. Design tab. Design tab helps you to design the presentations in a very colorful and attractive manner. The page setup, themes and background groups help you to design your presentation. Apply theme. You can quickly and easily format an entire document in a professional look by applying a document theme. A document theme is a set of formatting choices that include a set of theme colors, set of theme fonts including heading and body text fonts and a set of theme effects including lines and fill effects. To apply a theme, select a theme from the themes group under the design tab. You will get more themes from the drop down list of themes group. Theme Colors You can customize a document theme by changing the colors, fonts or the line and fill effects that are used. If you want to apply these changes to new documents, you can save them as a custom document theme. To change color of your theme, select a theme color from the drop down list of colors button in the themes group. Background Styles It's a background fill variations derived from combinations of the theme colors and background intensities in the current document theme. To apply background style, click on the background style option in the background group and select a style from the drop down list. You can format the background using the format background option in the drop down list of background style.